Lauren, where's Jane and Teresa? Um, they had to go. No, 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 What's no! What's that noise? I don't know. I have to make a phone call. You stay right here. I have to check. No, out. you stay right here. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Deborah. How do you know my name? I know a lot about you, Deborah. I've been watching you very closely. Originally from California, got married, had kids, moved here. Husband left you with the kids. Had to start this shop all on your own. Good job on it, by the way. I know that your kids mean the world to you, and that you would do anything to keep them safe. And that right now, they're not. Safe, that is. They were playing with some kids after school. Or so you thought. Until their friend's mother called and said they never showed up. Naturally, your first thought was to call the police. But that's when you started getting phone calls from an unknown number. This man convinced you that he had your kids, and that it was in your best interest and theirs to cooperate with him. Enter the need to return one of your employees, one Jane Smith, to his protection. <laughs> protection. No, not in the slightest. But this man, this Dr. Smith, and his associates also want you to watch out for me, who you know as Justin Walker. Oh, stay away from me! I am right. I love it when I do that. What am I right about? <laughs> so many things. It really is great to be as brilliant as I am, you know? Oh, maybe you don't. What am I right about? Oh, yes! I'm right that you are afraid of him. I'm right that he has your kids, and I'm right that the only way in your eyes to get them back is to give them Jane and me, who you think of as Justin Walker, but here's where you're wrong, Deborah. Oh, so very wrong. I remember who I am now. I remember who Jane is, even if she doesn't want to know. I'm not Justin Walker, no, not in the slightest. Shall I tell you who I am, Deborah? Who are you? I'm glad you asked. I'm the Doctor. I'm 2,500 years old. I'm a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey, and I'm the man who's going to save you, your children, Jane if she'll let me, and the lives of every man, woman, and child on this planet. So, Deborah, there are just three things I need you to know. The first is, don't you dare make that phone call. The second is, trust me, I'm the Doctor. And what's the third? Oh, yes. And the third is... Vominos. That sound! I know that sound! Somehow. Who is it? Oh, I don't know, but I think it's, I think it might oh, be. Oh, the people that are messing with. Yes. Let me at him. No, 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 Teresa, no, no, no. What? No, no, no. We've got to be cautious. We can't let us go get caught again. A plan, a plan, that's what we need. Okay, all right. Um, I, I have a, a, a friend. We can go to hit her place. All right, right. Okay, then, Bombados. Since when do you say that? No, Teresa! Okay, fine. fine. My girl's purse. Can't let anyone take it. Maybe this Jane girl can give me some answers. Bracky, I thought I'd lost you. How did she? Since you are reading this, you are safe and out of captivity for now. But I know that you are still in a prison, just like I was until I figured it all out. You're probably still angry with me for leaving, but you have to understand I did what I had to do, as I know you will when the moment comes to that. I have not really left you, 
Jane, the real you. I never will. And now you left me. But that's a story for another time. What you must know now, I am the one you were searching for all alone. The watch, Jane. Open it, and you two can be free. Just trust me, Jane. I'm the doctor. You're probably wondering about this puppet. I think raccoons are cool now. And, well, a dear friend gave it to me. Her name was Lauren, and she was amazing. She drove me batty at times, but in the end, she led me right to you. Some things came up that I had to attend to. But I will be back, and we'll be together soon. This time for good. 